The Sanctified Life Lessons in Character Building At one time, John engaged in a dispute with several of his brethren as to which of their number should be accounted greatest. They did not intend their words to reach the ear of the Master, but Jesus read their hearts and embraced the opportunity to give his disciples a lesson of humility. It was not only for the little group who listened to his words, but was to be recorded for the benefit of all his followers to the close of time. And he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all, and servant of all. Mark chapter 9 verse 35 Those who possess the Spirit of Christ will have no ambition to occupy a position above their brethren. It is those who are small in their own eyes who will be accounted great in the sight of God. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them, and when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receive it me, and whosoever shall receive me, receiveth not me, but him that sent me. Verses 36 and 37 What a precious lesson is this for all the followers of Christ. Those who overlook the life duties lying directly in their pathway, who neglect mercy and kindness, courtesy and love, to even a little child, are neglecting Christ. John felt the force of this lesson and profited by it. On another occasion, his brother James and himself had seen a man casting out devils in the name of Jesus, and because he did not immediately connect himself with their company, they decided that he had no right to do this work and consequently forbade him. In the sincerity of his heart, John related the circumstance to his master. Jesus said, Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is on our part. Verses 39 and 40 Again, James and John presented by their mother a petition requesting that they might be permitted to occupy the highest position of honor in Christ's kingdom. The Savior answered, Ye know not what ye ask. Mark chapter 10 verse 38 How little do many of us understand the true import of our prayers. Jesus knew the infinite sacrifice at which that glory must be purchased when he, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 that joy was to see souls saved by his humiliation, his agony, and the shedding of his blood. This was the glory which Christ was to receive, and which these two disciples had requested that they might be permitted to share. Jesus asked them, Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of, and be baptized of the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. Mark chapter 10, verses 38 and 39. How little did they comprehend what that baptism signified? Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized withal shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. Verses 39 and 40. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 7, The Character of John.